today we're going to be learning about apostrophes. We've already learnt that apostrophes can be used to, when you put two words together in a contraction. So, for example, cannot becomes can, can't, sorry. And we put the apostrophe where the O should go. Today we're going to be learning that we can use apostrophes to show possession. Possession means it belongs to someone or something. We can see in the picture there's a little girl who's holding a teddy. The teddy belongs to the little girl. She's the owner or she possesses the teddy. Looking at these um, pictures, we have David's boat, Jenny's dog and Lottie's friend. Now we have to think carefully about who owns the boat, the dog or the friend. And we have to put the apostrophe before the S to show that it belongs to that person. So in the first one, we have David's boat. The owner is David, so the apostrophe goes before the S on David. The second one is Jenny's dog. Jenny owns the dog, so that she is the owner. The apostrophe goes before the S of Jenny's to show that she owns the dog. Lottie's friend, the apostrophe goes in front of the S to show that Lottie is the owner of the friend. Sometimes, however, we have plural nouns which end in S, so there's more than one. For example, the birds' nests. There is lots of birds in the nest. Who owns the nest? It's the birds, plural. When this is the case, we put the apostrophe after the S to show that it is a plural. The bridesmaids' dresses. Um, how, many dress, how many bridesmaids are there? There are lots of bridesmaids. In fact, there are four bridesmaids. Who owns the dresses? The bridesmaids do. The apostrophe goes on the owner, bridesmaids, and there are many, so after the S. The boys' basketball. Who owns the basketball? The boys, plural. So again, the apostrophe goes on the boys, who, is the, who are the owners, but after the S to show it's plural. Your turn to have a go. Press pause and write out these sentences, putting the apostrophe in the correct place. Now, check you've done this correctly. This is Joseph's hat. The hat belongs to Joseph. Therefore, the apostrophe goes in front of the S for Joseph. I want Ella's ice cream. Who owns the ice cream? Ella. The apostrophe goes on Ella's ice cream. I took Tom's shoes. Who do the shoes belong to? They belong to Tom. Goes, the apostrophe goes on Tom, who's the owner. Now I'd like you to try and make your own sentences. Choose one or two of these pictures to write sentences about. Thinking carefully, who owns the cake, the socks, the skirts, the chocolate or the tongue? Quick reminder, in contraction, we use apostrophes in contractions, like he is becomes he's, or to show possession. The man's house, who owns the house, the man.